I will never forget the feeling of being about to place that first organ on the machine. It was a series of operations I had done a thousand times before, but there was something fundamentally different about this one. It was no longer an experiment that could be repeated next week. There was actually someone's life at the other end of that experiment. What we've done with Organox is to um, produce a, a clinically appropriate device uh, from some research work we've been doing for many years in the university laboratories to enable us to maintain a, an organ, that's a, a liver in this case, alive in a functioning state outside the body for a prolonged period. At the moment, transplantation is an emergency procedure. When an organ becomes available, the, the race against the clock is, is felt every step of the way. Surgeons would try to implant an organ within six to eight hours of retrieval, with a maximum of about 12 hours. The liver is arguably the most complex organ in the human body, and one that it is most difficult to replace artificially. The liver performs over a thousand chemical operations on the blood, and we are at least 20 years away from creating a completely artificial alternative. What Peter and I have tried to do is create an environment whereby the organ essentially doesn't know it has left the human body. We have a substitute heart in the form of the centrifugal pump. We have substitute lungs in the form of this oxygenator. And this reservoir represents the blood volume typically within the patient. The organ will ultimately reside here. We now have a capability of assessing the organ prior to even calling the patient in for the transplant and actually having real objective markers of how well the organ is working. What it means for patients is that we can start to use more organs for transplantation and with more confidence. At the moment, a patient is more likely to die waiting for a liver transplant than the first 12 months after the operation. So it's a very, very risky period, the period of waiting. And the shorter that waiting period, the better. It is very much a, a single button approach to organ preservation today. There's a play, a stop and an eject button. The clinicians looking after the patients have been enormously enthusiastic. It's been really great fun to be around actually. A trial at a European level is being initiated immediately upon completion of the current 20 patient trial in the UK. So we expect it to be up and running within 2014. Oxford is an absolutely unique place in which to translate research from lab to bench side. Um, the building that we are currently in is located on the Churchill Hospital site but is essentially an engineering building. So we have basic technologies such as myself in very close proximity to clinicians. I think that it's a fantastic privilege to work in an academic medical centre where you can really have one foot in the clinical camp and one foot on the, on the research and development side. I think it, it makes for an extremely interesting and rewarding job. It is robust, it is working every time, and that is really all an engineer can hope for.